Hey guys, Chris, CertifiedLuxuryWatches.com. Uh, we're back. I got Anthony with me as always. Hey guys. And uh, today we're talking shop. We're talking about buying and selling, uh, primarily selling. Where to sell your watch, when to sell it, who to sell it to. Um, so we're working with uh, a company that Anthony will tell you about, um, and it's something I think you need, need to hear. Yeah, it's, uh, it's called WatchPoster.com, and you, luckily enough, Certified Luxury Watches has got an exclusive relationship with them where, you know, it's everything social media, all luxury watch enthusiasts. It's very similar to, uh, like, LinkedIn, Facebook, yeah. combination of both. They got a live feed on there. They have a uh, monthly watch contest. Best photo wins 200 bucks. But you can basically go on. It's everything, everything for watch enthusiasts. It's not just... Um, you know, buy and sell a watch. However, it is one of the two things you can do. You can post your watch for sale. Also, scroll through the feeds to look for uh, watches that are for sale. But you can post, you know, articles. There's really cool things on there. Blogs. It's kind of like an Instagram. Yeah, it's like an Instagram with more of a social media, right? You so know, Facebook feel, if you will. Yeah, yeah. So it's got your content. Your, you know, mm -hmm. your, you can post your watches, your collection, things yep. like that. Um, you can integrate with dealers if you wanted join to your groups. yeah join your groups yeah um, you can talk to other people selling you know and that's primarily what I think target is is to kind of give it an easier feel mm -hmm. for either communicating about watches or selling watch to maybe yep. somebody else and end user to end user the yep. dealers kind of communicate with the dealers yep. and, and the consumers kind of stay with the consumers but yep. it's something that you can use daily just as you're posting on your social media platforms just as you're so posting on your forums mm -hmm. You know, why not add something else that is going to be equally lucrative and beneficial for you in the long, uh, the long term, yep. which is making connections, building mm -hmm. your personal brand and your relationships in order to sell your watch. Yep, and it's all free right now. Um, they have a pretty big uh, aggressive business plan, so they they it just got it just came live. They had the beta version out to right. kind of work out the kinks. However, they're, they're really, really inclined on getting feedback from the end users. They wanted it to, uh, they want it to be a community built by the community. So if you have any suggestions, you know, there's, there's still plenty of, I think they got just north of 4,000 watches listed on there. There's, you know, about 20, 30 companies, four or 500 end users, but um, they're going pretty aggressive, especially out the gate, you know, from this point moving forward, marketing and stuff. So it's gonna grow pretty big and right now, it's absolutely free. You can go to watchposter.com. It takes an email, uh, I think first name, last name. You got to create a password, put in a uh, promo code. I think it says who referred you. Just put in CLW123. That'll get you free membership yeah. started. And it's real easy. It's got some good content on that. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's what, why we're here and why, and why we wanted to talk about this mm -hmm. today is, um, you know, Anthony and I both equally use it. You know, we have some other guys here actually use it as well. Yep. So we're on it a lot. And, you know, the, the the other side of that is who do you really sell? Like, how do you really sell? Do you use right. Craigslist? Do you use eBay? Or do you sell to somebody like us? Mm -hmm. Now, with eBay, you have your your fees. You have your 10% to eBay. You have yep. your 3% PayPal fee. You have your shipping that's most of the time you're going to want to include because you're going to want to insure your, your item. Yeah. And, um, you know, that can get costly. You know, and then as you're using PayPal, you're acting as a merchant. So yeah. as you agree to take, you know, a credit card or PayPal or something like that, you're just like any other business out there, you're treated as a merchant and you can be subject to uh, like a return or what yep. we call a merchant chargeback. Yep. So if somebody complains in five months, yeah, uh, pay PayPal's time. actual is six months. So let's say somebody's had your item for five months, they can still open a case against you. Yep. Now, so these are all things you have to worry about. Do you want to worry about somebody buying your watch and wearing it to a wedding? Do you want to yep. worry about somebody wearing your watch for you know a Vacation. weekend, yeah, a couple yeah. of weeks, and yep. then just sending it back? When do you actually get to use the money? Yep. You know? And then Craigslist is equally uh, tough and time-consuming, <laughs> but now you, yeah, it becomes actual like danger. Do you go meet with somebody at a jeweler and yep. you put it, you know, where is the fine line of what is the risk mm -hmm. versus the reward? How yeah. much do you actually stand to gain? And you know what we try to explain to people as we work as advocates for you to help yeah. you sell your watch is what you know. What's it going to cost you? What's it going to cost you in time? What do you do for a living? How much time can you actually 
devote to answering questions, you taking answer pictures, phone calls, yeah. concerns. I mean, and, and the thing that I see the worst is, like Chris mentioned, is the waiting period. I mean, you use PayPal, they will hold you exactly. to that, and unfortunately. For the seller, they're gonna side. They're gonna, especially for the buyer, they're gonna side with the seller every time. Mm-hmm. You know that's that's just the way pay- PayPal is. And if you've ever got on the phone and tried to speak to PayPal about some sort of issue, I mean, forget yeah. it. You're gonna waste another half day easy just trying to get the right person. If you should have issues, big scam. You know it's nothing new, but uh, PayPal now people are stealing other people's PayPal accounts. They'll purchase a watch, and then guess what? You ship it, everything's good. They file a complaint saying that they never got the item. Exactly. They take the, retract the money back. They have your watch, and they have the money. And it happens, uh, I right. mean, They ask every us day. a lot, like, you know, well, how come, you know, how come it doesn't happen to you? You know, you're on eBay, mm-hmm. you're using PayPal, you're, you yeah. know. So we're protected by this big umbrella, which is the corporation, mm-hmm. uh, in one aspect. Then the other thing is, is like we know what exactly we're looking for. You know, we're videotaping every single thing in and out of any box that comes in and out of this yep. office. Um, we are insured. We're you know we're handling everything as if it quite possibly could be some type of a scam or a ripoff. Yeah, you could cover yourself every time. And it still happens to us on a daily basis. Oh yeah, they steal try. from us. You know, so it's you know. Yeah. I can't imagine what the consumer goes through. So when you see that eBay profile that has zero feedback yeah. and they've never bought or sold a watch or anything yep. like that, I mean, that's not somebody to, I don't, you know, even if they're willing to pay, buy it now, and Doesn't they're going to pay your full price. Yep. And it is, their story sounds so legitimate. It's These people are professionals. Yeah, their story is usually the best. Yeah. You trust them the most. They, you know, they don't sound like scammers or else they wouldn't be good at what they do. They, they're, they're really, really right. I mean, professionals. It's really so, good at what they do. With Watch Poster, you know, it's, you know, hopefully what this is going to become is kind of, you know, ho- what what I hope for, I would say, is that, you know, things like eBay and Craigslist and things like that will become kind of a thing of the past. Now, yeah. people have always used forums, and yep. if you're vetted on the forums and you have great your, place. your relationships mm-hmm. and you have your references, yes, forums are great places to watch. Most of the time... If somebody tells me they're on forums and they've sold on forums before, you know, that's, I say that's fine. Yep. You know, it, you let me know when you have the money and we'll, you know, do a deal without your trade. Yep. Right? But um, what Watch Poster and some of these Facebook groups now are, turn, are trying to turn into is just like an easier verified way yep. to transact business with a luxury item, especially being a watch. Yeah. I mean, and, and listen, there's no, there's nothing bad about selling you watch on Facebook. I definitely say do not sell your watch on Craigslist. There's way too many scammers. They, they breed on that. I mean, they literally go on Craigslist looking. That's where they hunt. I mean, mm-hmm. that's where they go to get all their leads. Um, it's where people are most vulnerable. They know that their end users on there rather than dealers. Most people, unfortunately, aren't going to vet them the proper way. You know, I hear people even tell me, they go, oh, I'll just go to a, uh, a Rolex dealer and we'll do the exchange there. Well, I don't know about you, but if you ever try to go into a Rolex dealer, right. sell a watch that you didn't buy there, they're going to tell you to get out. Even banks, right. they go, oh, we'll go into the bank and we'll exchange funds there. Yeah, well, good luck. Even if it's your bank, a lot, the bank allowing you to conduct business that's essentially non non Yeah, it's bank not related. It's, it's an uncomfortable situation. Yeah. Especially, it's just like, tough. you're going to verify the bills, you're going to verify a check there. Fake, there's fake it's a bills, bank. fake checks. I mean, yeah. you name it. It's, it's just, just, it's way too it's hard true. these days to do something like that with the evolution of the, the scam is, right. is progressing much faster than Crazy. what we already have in tech to protect ourselves. You yeah. know, a company like PayPal or eBay, as big as they are, they have a department that's probably, it's no more than probably 500 people that actually just handle fraud. Right. You know, which seems very small for as large as the company is. And that's just the truth. You can't get these people on the phone and you're, you're just... It's a nightmare. Yeah, you're spent. You're days and days and days. And eventually, a lot of people, they just give up. Yeah, well, that's what they're hoping for. The scammers are hoping that you, right. you're not going to pursue it. And you know, that's how they get away with stuff. So what you're giving up to them... You know, it's technically probably what you're going to give a company like us. Whether right. it's us or some other company out there that buys and sells online, you're most likely just going to give that, that same amount of money. Right. You could have just sold to us or sold to somebody else. Been been right away. It, never had to no hear issues. about it again. Yeah. You know, it's much more worth it. Please understand it's a luxury asset. And at the same time, they're just, most of the time, you, you know, they're depreciating. It's how much you lose and then 
where and who you lose it to right. and, and how the transaction. I don't mind losing money every once in a while, but it's in the aspect of like if I'm dealing with a company that I feel it's secure professional, with, you don't have to yeah. get any headaches with it. And I'm trading yeah. or I'm or I buy yeah. from you guys. I yeah. mean, it just makes more sense to do sure. it that way. Yeah. It takes all the risk out of it. So we always want to know, you know, what's happened to you guys, you know, uh, what your thoughts are on everything. Comments, anything about the situation, if you've experienced anything bad right. in the past. Right. So, yeah, anything about Watch Poster, you know, we, we, we're, all, we're the guys to come to. You can find all of our yeah. contact information, certifiedluxurywatches.com. Um, I, as I say in every video, all of our inventory, you can question. Uh, we have both of our emails listed and our yeah. direct sales um, listed on the website. You can get us anytime. That's 24 7. Text Always message, willing to email. help. Call us. Uh, but we want to know what your thoughts are. Like, have you ever been scammed? Has somebody ever tried to take your money? What's the worst experience that ever happened to you? We'd love to uh, maybe get some dialogue going about mm -hmm. that. Thanks, guys.